Today's video, we're starting out with zero dollars, a truck, and a tent. We have to work our way up and becoming a multi-million dollar farm in the middle of nowhere using these, starting out with these trees right here and working our way up to actual decent farm. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel to the survival farming series. I know it's been a little bit since I've been on here, uh, but we got a dog now. And if you guys are going to be wondering why I have $15,000, because I was doing a little bit of work off the of camera and it was basically just uh doing hay bales and i had uh had to do a lot of them just to get uh the money where i'm at right now but if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button and subscribe while it does help out the channel a ton and i appreciate all the support now right now i gotta go down here to the uh machine shed real quick um i was already down there cleaning off my one tractor um because we gotta go to the used dealership take it there and i'm gonna go ahead and try to trade it in for another tractor is that's because um the dealership actually offered me to bring it that back down there and see it um how good it looks now and then they're going to offer me a trade on a different tractor and a lot newer it has the bells and whistles to it so i'm pretty excited for that all right well everything checks out and looks uh perfect on this tractor i'm just going to take it down there they're going to check it out and do basically do the same thing i just did just look over the tractor make sure everything works the hydraulic system and all that fun stuff but i'll see catch you guys over there in a minute all right and we just reached a dealership i was going to uh, show you guys a tractor real quick but you guys can wait to see the tractor um i'm going to go ahead go ahead inside and i'm going to go talk to the uh guy and see what they're gonna offer me it's gonna be sad getting rid of this tractor because i kind of wanted to keep it for you know the collection of starting out the farm uh but we can always end up getting another one and probably like a newer one of this model but i'll catch you guys in a minute all right and the deal has been successful done i gave him a little bit of uh cash on the side and then he just gave me the cash back but here is the tractor that we traded for the other one i know it's a lot newer it doesn't seem like it was a decent trade but it actually was a decent trade because um i took care of that tractor and it was kind of like brand new still and you know all that good stuff so i think we're gonna go ahead and take this back over to the farm um don't ask why the uh bell the hay bell loader is um blue and black i don't understand that one but anyways i'm gonna go back over to the farm we're gonna start our day after shoot i forgot we gotta go over to the neighbor's house because he has a gift for me um after i plow him a field because he just moved over next door to me basically and he has none of his stuff with him um at the moment his equipment he said it'd take him about maybe like a month or so to get all of his equipment over here so I guess I'm gonna go have to go plow my field and in return, he's gonna give me something and I'm actually very excited to see what it is. All right, and I'm on my way to my neighbor's house. It's just a short drive. It's only right ne next door to me, like I said. I'm connecting my plow and I'm gonna show you guys exactly where he wants his uh, field plowed. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him and see exactly how this is gonna go down. So where this area is cut, he cut the grass to uh, map it out and stuff and um that's where we got to plow the field just a small field for now um he'll get to making a bigger one later on once all this equipment gets here but i'm gonna go ahead and talk to him and see what's going on all right so i just got done talking to the guy uh pretty chill dude he said once i'm done plowing look into this shed here so i'm actually very excited to see what he's good trying to give me after i'm done plowing his field so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, map the area out and i'm gonna put the camera down for a minute and most likely time lapse this and then i'll be back with you guys in a minute Alrighty, and we finally got the field plowed here, so we're going to go ahead and check this shed out, see what he got inside for us. Hopefully it's nothing too big. I mean, most likely I'll still take it, 
if it's any help out on the farm for us so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right so what's he got here for us Ooh, okay so this looks oh sh yeah this uh definitely looks uh like a good promising deal um okay so i wasn't expecting anything like this i was more or less expecting maybe you know like an old rusty tractor or something man this thing looks nice um wow okay so there's the hydraulics so i'm wondering maybe it goes down or something like that i'm not sure toolbox is on the side so let's go ahead and hop in and see if she starts so yes yeah, first try she starts right up uh let's go ahead and open the uh, hood up and all right so there's the uh look of the engine inside uh that looks very neat and nice i like that so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and pull it outside and i'm go gonna go ahead and talk to him for a little bit and see what's going on and I'm going to let him know that his field is plowed and ready to be, you know, seated. All right, and we got the uh, truck going back to the uh, farm here. I had to walk over and grab it because I just took my tractor over first, like I said I would, in the plow. Left the tractor there, and I'm going to leave the truck there because we're going to be making some hay bales and or cutting grass first and then making hay bales. So that's why all the equipment's outside right now. So let's go ahead and cut some grass and I'll most likely time lapse that for you too. If you guys do like the time lapses in my videos, um, just let me know down in the comments below. If you guys don't, I will not do time lapses probably ever again. But I'm gonna do a time lapse of me cutting this grass real quick. All right, now it's time to get the bailing all this grass up. So this ought to be fun. It's not it shouldn't take too long to bail it all up, but another time lapse incoming now. Alrighty guys, so it looks like we got everything done. We helped the neighbor out. We got the grass cut. We got a gift. We got everything all done that we wanted to. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button. Please subscribe as it does help out the channel a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next video.